I think it's about time we talk about what happened. The reason why I left was you told me that we weren't friends anymore. It made you look like a huge leech. Well, now I'm mostly terrified of the ocean. You then went and blocked Jelly. I don't even want to try to like defend it. I was an asshole. It's the motion of the ocean, Jelly. I, like, I couldn't believe it was coming from you. Everything that's happened, I would have kept that uh, private forever. Hello! Are you nervous? Mm-hmm. Are you really nervous? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Why are you nervous? Well, I have never done a podcast before. Ooh. So uh, To be fair, neither have we. We've never done a podcast yeah. before until we started the podcast. Well, you did you have. before me. I, I haven't done a podcast before. Oh. No. This is the first time. Oh, okay. Well, well you've done some before me, so you're like... Yeah, oh yeah. Well, we've done a couple of episodes, episodes yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That you, helps. You haven't seen any of the episodes. No, I haven't. No. 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 Plus, you you two haven't actually met no, each other No, today was the first ever. time we've ever met. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to address that elephant in the room, Josh. Oh, what, jelly? No, yeah. I was about <laughs> to say that too, actually. I was actually rehearsing for that. Why? <laughs> Guys, I'm listening, and why just get roasted? Did you, you rehearse for today? Yeah, I was like thinking about what I would say when I got in here. And the first thing is, I you would should, say... You should rehearse your mic, please. Yeah, please. sorry about that. So, I've never met you. Yeah. And the first time that you want to meet me... Is on a podcast. You start a podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> actually... That's the excuse you need. It's actually the only reason. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah figure it, yeah. I yeah. mean, it, it's not like you're, you're special or anything, because I never... I, I've met Josh before, but before the podcast, we never met up in real life just no. because. No. no we only met at, like, events or where we had... Where we, when we had a sponsor or whatever. You need a reason to meet people, I guess, Josh. Yeah, well, that's why. I mean, we... I made an entire podcast to force myself to just have so you friends. can leave the house. Yeah, pretty yeah. Much. Well, yeah. it's a good idea. All right, Jelly. Do you want to introduce who we have here then? Yeah, <laughs> obviously Craner. This, Hello. this guy, his name's Craner. Yeah. yeah. For your Benjamin. sake, all right. You might think that everyone knows you who's watching. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But there might be people listening who don't even know of of, of us three as a group. Oh yeah, yeah I guess right? so. Yeah. They they maybe they may they might know you from something before us uh -huh, yeah. right or I've they might not know you at all so, so we so we like to play this fun game where jelly will introduce you okay, yeah, okay. and he all does right. a terrible job yeah, yeah, yeah. okay yeah. you prepared maybe all right so craner yeah is a youtuber thank you from denmark mm -hmm. he's got low-hanging fruit so far million, yeah, yeah it's good so far he's got yeah. seven million subscribers and plays video games yeah what do i mostly play uh at the moment it's roblox uh-huh yeah. Yeah, yeah on your own on my own on my very own yeah yeah why is that <sighs> why i'm alone all of a sudden well i think <laughs> that's <laughs> that's something that we will get into yeah, later yeah, in the yeah. Podcast. we probably shouldn't break it like that no, no, no i know i i mean i do want to say there is a reason all right that this podcast is called two, two thirds. thirds yes two thirds Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Do you think you know why that is, Craner? Because you could have been three, but you're two. Yeah. Well, yeah. we have been three. And we're three right now. Well, you've been three plenty well, of times. Well, actually. we're two thirds and a pending third. But that's the same. Right. I mean, that's the whole point of this podcast is getting. That is the concept of this podcast is yeah. to find that third person again. Oh, so this is like an audition. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. Okay. I didn't know. I should have prepared <laughs> something then. Yeah. Really, so really. the first thing you have to do is, uh, is your, an act. Oh, no, no. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Oh, man, that would be terrible. <laughs> so let's, I think to start off, <laughs> yeah. let's dive in then to the history of Craner. The history of me. Where did, where did, where did Craner begin? What's the name? The name actually, okay, that's a really dumb story. I used to play a lot of World of Warcraft oh, no. when I was a teenager, probably way too much. I never left my room. Right. And there was this guy that I was friends with and his name was Craner. <laughs> <laughs> in the game his name was craner in the game and it was actually a combination of his real life name and his last name i'm not going to get into that of course but i just kind of went yoink he was like that's you mine now stole yeah. It. yeah i'll take that well i didn't talk to him for like years after that and then i made a youtube channel and i was like that's a really good name for a youtube so channel. so it's crane what? is craner out there potentially able to <laughs> sue you for your name back i think so yeah, <laughs> yeah and this oh is really God. bad that i'm actually saying it then you Cra know what? Craner? I want to find this guy. Craner, if you're out yeah, there, yeah. the real Craner. contact me. Yeah, we, yeah, will yeah, you yeah. please stand up? It's actually been <laughs> wow. a long time. Craner is exposed. Like, you didn't come up with the name. I did not come up with my name. But then again, yours isn't that creative either. No, that's true. I think yours is the most creative. Yeah. Actually, it's funny. In true, <sighs> All right. in true YouTube format, the first piece of content you ever had was stolen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you really, you were made to be a YouTuber. Well, you know what? I took the name and that's what it is. You so, know? so that was... That was a name before youtube that right? was a name before youtube yeah the gamer name i yeah. mean i made it popular i would just like to say so okay. he can't have all the credit you know right if you say so yeah right. i was like 16 or something i don't even when did i start my youtube channel 
The one I have now is from 2014, but before that, I had another channel that I then deleted. What, what was, was the that? Call? What was that the call? was called Mr. Craner or something. Oh, oh. yeah, yeah, uh, Mr. Craner, the really squeaky voice and. Uh, oh wait, what? Well, we're, we're gonna oh, get into the squeaky yeah, voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Squeak, squeak, squeak. So but good old times. So why did you delete that channel? Yeah. Well, I think actually sued. it was because I started when I was going to a gymnasium, which is like, is that high school for you guys? For English right, we were both dropouts. Uh, we have no idea. Gymnasium. Yeah, that's like where like, you would do like it's college. Sports. Like, yeah, what? but in Denmark, that's what it's called. No, gymnasium. It's, it's, it's college. Gymnasium. It's, it's basically after school, right? So I went to that place. Gymnasium. We call it the same educated. in Dutch. I didn't jump around or like do yeah. tricks. Or it sounds like, like you that. just went somewhere just to do acrobatics. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you should see my backflip. <laughs> can not, we, can no, you? no, no. Okay. I mean, this is an audition. I need to stretch first and stuff like that. You know. Okay. So yeah, I I made it back then, and I so what were you doing on that channel? Oh, uh, Minecraft. Oh, okay. So, yes, yeah. Uh, so I was like, it was basically at the start of Minecraft. Um, I think I was one of the first ones. <laughs> what, to upload it. Minecraft? Uh, you know, yeah. Uh, well, I got the inspiration from Yoxcast back then. So you it's stole like, your video ideas and your Look, we all get name. inspiration from somebody. You didn't invent GTA 5 oh, or 4. What no, no, no. My, my dad made GTA 5. Oh, he did? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, you should probably tell him. To and hurry my up uncle then. is Elon Musk. He is. Yeah. Good. I don't know. He's, Jay's got this obsession with Elon Musk throughout these episodes, and it's so. He just mentions I just want the, the first ticket to Mars, man. Oh, okay. Just, that's you know, what I'm, it trying is. To, I'm trying to spice it trying up. Trying to be that sugar daddy. So, so, why did you delete that first channel? Well, it was because my mom, or maybe my dad, or something like that, thought that it was bad that I was getting really bad grades. Which it is. Uh, what? I, I was just recording videos and uh, never really been good at school. So uh, they told me I should probably delete it. So they thought that the what? YouTube was... Well, they didn't tell me to delete it. They told me to focus on school. And I was like, this is not going to go anywhere. So in sort of true Craner fashion, you were like the nuclear option of... <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's we'll get into nuclear nothing, options. Maybe. <laughs> it's all or nothing. <laughs> so then, so then, so then you, you, you then went back to it. You relapsed into making YouTube content. I relapsed, content. yeah. No, so then like a year went by. I dropped out of two schools, by the way. First, I dropped out. And then I was like, this is probably not good. I'm not making any money on YouTube. Delete channel. Then I went back to school again. Have we got a violin sound effect? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. I'll put one in the post. Okay, fine. Yeah, 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 good. Can you fake tears? So then I then I went back to school again. <laughs> and then I was like, I drop out again. Oh my and then God. I make a channel again. Okay. But this so this oh. channel though stuck, and that was Craner. Yeah, so then I made that no, one no, in 2014. No. But I remember this channel was also called Mr. Craner. Well, he was also called Slogo Man. You know, you can so that. so you deleted Mr. Craner and then you made a made new him. Mr. Craner. Heck yeah, wow. dude. Uh, yeah. So okay. I got a question though. Why did you stick with the name? Why what? didn't you make a new one? What? Okay, I'm not that creative. <laughs> you know, I, st I stole the first one. Where am I gonna get <laughs> yeah, the next I mean, one from? Lock into stolen World of Warcraft name. again. So what's your real name? Your actual name? My real name in real life? Yeah. It's Benjamin. But Benjamin, what's the full name? Benjamin. Am I supposed to say that? I mean, you oh, don't I have don't to. You don't have to. Uh, <laughs> I it mean, it's right? out there. Benjamin Vestergaard. This is weird name. because, uh, like, for reference, we are gamers. We play together. Mm -hmm. I've always referred to you as Craner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. everyone around you who knows you as a person calls you Benjamin. Yeah. That's so odd, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Well, I mean, yours is easy. You, your you, call me, is your name. you can't call me Josh. I do call you Josh, but that's like a slogan. It's just I an feel old like word. it's yeah, it's, it doesn't really roll off the tongue that easy. Craner seems like a real name, which it was for somebody <laughs> <laughs> until, until I kind of ruined that for him. So let's fast forward a bit. So yeah. you're oh. you're making content, you're mm -hmm. uploading on Craner, yeah, and you solo at this point. Yeah, I was solo for the most part. Uh, I get, it's kind of cringe. I used to. Uh, hit up Yoxcast a lot for shout outs <laughs> and they actually uh, they actually gave me a couple which kind of like got me my first audience what back in the uh, day a bit of a leech a bit yeah a little a little bit oh <laughs> well, uh, we're gonna do more leech moves later <laughs> i mean you know we're talking of leech what when did so when did sunday come into this? oh no that was that was, that was a bit of a well one. i mean no, we no, can no, unpack no. that whole thing because then i uh unpack Unpack. Well, it, it's a lot because there's certain videos that's come out from Lancy Poo, which uh, you guys yep. probably also want to talk about. Who, who is was, someone uh, that you used to record with? A YouTuber, yeah. gamer yeah, from yeah, the yeah. US. Yeah. 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 So what what happened with that whole thing is that I had made YouTube videos for a while on my own and I started talk to, uh, talking to him because he had a Twitch career back in the day. Oh. So this is Lancy Poo we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, it is. And we kind of like uh, started talking together. He liked what I did and I... I actually really liked his streams. He's a really talented guy and he was really good back then too. And we kind of hit it off. And then I think a year or so after we started talking, I, I went to the US to visit him. 
And there's drama around this. There is, yeah, there's a bit of, well, not really for me. I've, not uh, anymore. But this, I, so this is all pre-Sunday. This, this was pre-Sunday okay. era, yeah, yeah. So you went to live with him. I went to the US when I was like 19, maybe I just turned 20, like, yeah, back yeah. then. So like eight years ago or something like that. Went to live with him for like a month or so, maybe two. And this is for content making. Yeah, it's, we had like a little yeah. content house back in yeah, the day. Yeah. We used to do videos together and he kind of like started me off on, uh, on the whole thing, yeah. yeah. So, so where did it go wrong? Well, mm. I was kind of, so I kind of take the blame for the whole thing. I, I don't even want to try to like defend it. I was an asshole. Can I say that? Yeah, you can say whatever you want. Okay, oh, I, yes. We're I getting was, into spicy words. I was an <laughs> asshole, you know, and uh, you guys also know me. Sometimes I don't really make the soundest of decisions. Um, I think a lot of that stuff was like all or nothing. So it was, it, I, still, I just started noticing because he was recording with Sunday and uh, that also oh. gave me an in with him. And I started noticing uh, stuff that Lancey would say when we weren't like, uh, when he wasn't recording and mm. what sort of stuff? Uh, well, I don't want to like bad mouth him. Cause I think what I did kind of outshines what he did, but he was starting to like be not so satisfied with what he did with Ian Sunday. And so he was um, speaking negatively. Yeah. And so, I, yeah. yeah. And I kind of like, I kind of took offense to that. Cause I felt like that was a weird thing to do. And so I actually hit up Sunday and told him about it. Right. Which was also a really weird thing for me to do. Because you didn't feel like what Lancey was saying was a fair representation of Sunday. Uh, yeah, kind of. So it's not like I'm a hero or something coming in to save the day. Sure. Like, I could have just been quiet. But I was also sure. a 19-year-old and I did want to like progress as yeah. well in my career. You I, wanted Sunday to I wanted Sunday to acknowledge me. Uh -huh. right? Which, like, which uh, he did. Eventually. Which he did. Yeah, we ended up recalling together because of the whole thing. And, yeah. you know, Lancey and got kind of shoved to the side, which sucks. Like, I feel really bad for that still so and, and that's why lancy created this video on you kind yeah, of exposing yeah. you and yeah, yeah, yeah. all the bad things he's done so on so you. and 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 the major theme there was that he suggested you took advantage like took advantage of the situation yeah, stone to kind get of. yeah well he he said specific things like that he would pay for you and your girlfriend's yeah, flights yeah which I, business class uh, i don't actually remember but oh. then again like i i felt like that was a weird thing to point out because uh that's just something he did. And it's like, if you do that, then you can't really go back later and complain about it. Right. Sure. Right. right I mean, right. it is, it, he should have taken his own responsibility. It was his, it was his decision. Yeah. So I felt like the whole money thing, like that was kind of like a weird dig at me. And, uh, I did, I, we actually worked it out. That's also why he deleted the video. I, I hit oh, him up. Okay. And I but that was, that took quite a bit of time. It took a bit of time. Cause right. I, well, I had to like establish a relationship to him again. Cause I did genuinely feel bad for what I did. And I said, sorry, I, that was an asshole thing of me to do, which yeah. it was. And um, I did use so him. Do you, do you feel like, though, because um, obviously you, you're acknowledging that that was something you did was like a, as an asshole move. But do you, at the time, did you feel like it was it was coming from a, a good place? I like think it, I convinced myself. Yeah, kind of, yeah. yeah, I think I convinced myself that this is like an all right thing to do. And, and it was like a side effect that you were going to be with. Yeah, Sunday yeah it was and, like, a, oops. You know, yeah. like here I am. You were most likely using your business mind. You were like, you know, this is this is my well, way forward. This yeah. is how I su succeed. Yeah, know? but I don't think I thought about it that way because right. if you think about yourself that way, you kind of realize that you are kind of like the the asshole in this. Yeah, no, no, no. You Maybe know? you didn't round it off. Yeah. Well, but it was so long ago. So when he made that that video, I was actually really surprised by it. I right. was like, wow. Okay, I remember. I didn't, I didn't think. So, so you you were actually that. with us at the time when that yeah. video came yeah, out. I was so panicked, dude. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I've always been so scared of, which is also why I'm a little bit nervous to be here. You know, because sure. I'm a very private. Thank you, Jelly. It's I'm okay. a very private person, and I I don't really talk about things, especially not this kind of stuff. Because one, I think it's boring. Sure. And two, I don't really think it's that many people's business. You know. Yeah, I think we agree with that. Well, they made it there. Everybody. It's a funny yeah. thing, though. I think because. Um, clearly there's a demand for understanding what's going on. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, the, the like, videos wouldn't be so popular yeah. with exposure and, mm -hmm. um, obviously Jelly's had his experience with it, with the Sunny V2 stuff. Like there's, there's yeah. clearly a demand, oh, yeah. there's clearly a demand for this inside st track. Yes. Which is, I'm actually happy that I also get to do the podcast because I would never have talked about any of this sure. otherwise. Especially like, in this yeah. format, also this like, calm so format. Everything that's happened, I would have kept that uh, private forever. You know. Sure. So, so what was your first response when we invited you to this podcast? I was actually going to say no. Right. Why? Yeah. Well, immediately, well, one, never met that dude before. That dude is So Josh. that's a very terrifying way to meet you when we <laughs> haven't talked in a year. And we had some beef. And then you <clears throat> invite me to a podcast. I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. I mean, I think the... I've never been too worried about the idea of not 
of having not meeting someone in person before. No, like, that's never really concerned me too much. But well, I understand where you're coming. From. Yeah, it concerns a lot of people, Josh. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I suppose. We can get more into the yeah. the group of us stuff mm -hmm. later on. I think yeah. just did I explain everything? With well, the, I just I, I think the bit that you can be interesting would be the so the Sunday mm -hmm. era. Yeah, then. yeah, yeah. I, that that lasted a long time. You guys, how long did I recall with him for? I don't even know. I'm so bad at like remembering stuff. Uh, actually, I did a little bit of research. It was around four years. Yeah, four years recording together, and you yeah. guys had a little duo. Yeah, and it was called Crundy. Crundy. Oh, yeah, we yeah. kind of had that whole thing. We uh, it yeah. started off with us recording Sky Factory, which, which is exploded. a Minecraft game mode. That was like the most popular thing I think I've ever done. How many views were you getting at the time? Well, his videos were all getting like two million plus views. What? And and and, yeah. and it, so that's an interesting. So you say his videos? Yeah. Wh why do you say his videos? Well, I mean, I also posted the same video, but his obviously got more reception. I also got you know, good views from that. Right. It was what really started my whole thing, you know? Yeah. So was it, was it a similar format to when you were recording with us? Did you, um, it was just you two both recorded something and then you just uploaded it or yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. if I remember correctly is as it developed over time into a group, the dynamic sort of changed a little bit. Yeah. It, uh, I mean, it started off with us just recording the same video and the two and, of you but, and both posting it. Yeah. Both posting the same thing differently edited of course and from different viewpoints but his was always more popular of course since he yeah was the bigger channel and then later on during the whole thing we would not so much record the same thing anymore and post it it would mostly be like we record this for your channel and then record this for my channel right, right. yeah and what that was so you were recording unique content for each other at one point yeah yeah and that took so long to do did, did you feel straight yeah like was that balanced uh well i mean it's it's never really going to be balanced in that dynamic i guess because he's the bigger youtuber but no it, it some points of it felt a little bit like uh i wouldn't say unfair <laughs> that's a weird word to use you know i'm very yeah. grateful to him and well, I, I suppose sometimes it would get out of balance. Right? Yeah, it, it would. Yeah, yeah. So out obviously. of four hours, three would be his and one would be yours. Yeah, because he, he spends so long on his videos. Like, right. it's and a ridiculous amount of preparation time. It's funny because me like and Jetty can somewhat understand what you're talking about because we had a similar thing with Quibblecop when Quibblecop was leaving. Yep. He stopped mm -hmm. uh, uploading content. So yeah. it was in an opposite direction where um, we were making content with someone who wasn't uploading content and you can feel oh, yeah. that disconnect oh that's um, kind of weird yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah no but yeah i mean uh, it was a great time though we had a lot of fun and it was uh he's i still consider him a, a great friend we talk sometimes still so then at some point Ooh. Mm -hmm. you left well yeah it was actually i met you first yeah i think that was through him actually yep. yeah through sunday yeah yeah once again yeah because he recorded wow. a uh, Fortnite video with us Yes. And then we kind of like uh, started talking, yep. you and me. And uh, I think you guys also were kind of like looking for a third guy since. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't think we ever, it, we never decided to look no. for someone, but it no. was a natural. It, it, was, it was actually natural. And I wouldn't say I used any uh, weird strategies or anything. Just I like think with, we asked you to yeah. record with us. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I, just I tried to get a foot in and stuff like that yeah. to talk to you guys. And I also offered up a lot of Minecraft stuff. Uh, you but did. I yeah. think just mm. rolling back a step there, though, that. I think to the viewer, they're gonna sort of see something a bit yeah, familiar. Yeah, it's because it all. Yeah, it's. it's and I think very it's familiar. maybe something you should. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, should, I should talk more about it. I guess, yeah. uh, but it's it's a bit difficult to explain it. But do you want to say say what I'm saying though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get it. So it was different from the Lancy situation. A lot different because, well, first of all, I'd been kind of unhappy recording with Sunday for a long time. Uh, just like you said, the the balance of the whole thing was a bit off. And, sure. And you guys offered a way more balanced way of. First of all, we are a lot closer to each other in yeah. views and stuff like that. And we uh, yeah. we actually got on and talked a lot. But so I, I think the Sunday thing kind of ended abrupt, abrupt, abruptly. Yeah, you got it. Um, and then I sort of just started recording with you guys. But there was never like me and Sunday wasn't like, OK, we're done recording together. Mm -hmm. It just kind of happened because I went with you. So guys. you don't do you feel like um, at the time Sunday would have felt like you had like like left him and oh for sure of, did you stop you, talking to him ignored him or well, locked him uh, yeah i think i think we both kind of just like uh stopped talking together yeah he uh he obviously was because upset by he it. was he was upset because you joined 
us. Yeah, well, no, it was because like I'm very bad at confrontation, and that's a thing that's been a problem my whole life. So I didn't just like walk up to him and say, "Hey, I'm gonna start recording with Je Jelly and Josh right. now." It was, it. it was sort of like I just leave. Yeah, that, poof, I'm gone. You know, oh, and, I remember that. I throw a smoke. So how did you know that he familiar. was not happy about it? Well, I mean, I know him as a person, and I know what he was gonna think about it, and uh, to some extent, it was also the correct thing. But I mean, if I had done the completely right thing looking back at it now i should have gone to him i should have said that i was unhappy with the recordings maybe we could have worked something out and still yeah you know actually been able to record but i would i was never gonna like be the one to bring up anything in that conversation yeah. so essentially what you're saying it was a selfish move the way you ended it yeah yeah everything that i i've done seems selfish and i think i can also admit that it is selfish but at the same time it, it doesn't come from that place when i do it it's mm. like right it's like um it just happens well it seems that way because i go quiet i think that's the problem it seems that way because i don't talk sure so if i had just like been more upfront with him yeah if i had said hey i'm leaving to go record with jelly and josh i don't think there would have been a problem at all but i just yeah. threw a smoke bomb down i was like i'm out yeah after like four years or something which you can't Why do does that sounds so familiar well you know we're probably well, going to get to that. I, <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm really in the crossfire right now. And I well, yeah, like you're in the middle. A, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, but I mean, everything you're saying so far, I think is really good. Like, yeah. Um, yeah. It's, well, it's also like, you know, I don't know if we're going to get into that later. Maybe I'm saying it too early, but I've also started therapy, um, which has really brought to attention a lot of the stuff that I would like blame myself for. So I know now why I may do these things and sure. then I can also address them better. Like right now I can admit that, hey, it's because I'm bad at confrontation or hey, you know, that's just, it's it's just the way my brain works, right? Yeah. Like when I want to leave, Everyone's I'm out. And that's something different. you got to change, of course. Like I can't blame it all on mental health issues. Well, but. you don't have to change yourself for anybody. Well, you know, you can you can conduct yourself or learn how to at least do it. That's definitely not something that everyone would agree with. Jeff. No, no. I mean, you can you cannot blame it all on like mental health stuff, but it's definitely taught me a lot about myself where I'm like, okay, maybe this is this is why I don't think I'm an asshole. Right. And maybe this is why I did it, but also in the future, then I should avoid doing that. There's two things, right? Like the way we work as YouTubers together, it's kind of almost like an, a weird friendship because you're all benefiting from each other. You're all making money off each other. Yeah. But then once you see something better, something that you could easily get to, uh, you, well, I mean, you, you make the selfish move to... To, to, to grab that and leave well, something well, the, good behind. The funny thing right? is about me leaving Sunday, I would actually say, I. <laughs> this is no offense to you guys, but he's like, he's killing it. And he was as well when I left him. Yeah. So it wasn't even like a step up, to be honest. Mm -hmm. It was a different audience. So maybe I gained a lot. Are that, you but... saying that I'm a dead YouTuber? No, right? I'm actually not. No, you do great, Dilly. But all I'm saying <laughs> is great, that, Jilly. you know, the, the Lancey Sunday thing, that was a huge jump. Yeah. yeah but like switching to you guys it, it, in the eyes of like sub, count and view wise and stuff like that you could even say it was a bit dumb maybe so you think that potentially even coming to record with me and jelly was a step down no i actually i liked it all there's that's one, the thing about it that's what i'm trying to say it's different no fair yeah. enough. so what so what did you what was your perception of us when you started to record with us yeah Ooh. well it was a lot more what i liked about it was that it was a lot more free and we all felt like it felt for the first time it felt like we were just homies actually I, I really would so say you, that. So did you... Where were your first friends? Uh, yeah, yeah, you guys are my first did you friends not, ever. Did you not feel like you had as much of a friendship then on the Sunday side? Well, we did have a friendship, but obviously there was a huge age gap and um, it just wasn't the same kind of like... I don't know. We, we Dynamic? Get, yeah, we got along really well from the start, I would say. Yeah. Um, and it just felt natural. It felt like uh, three friends sitting down and record. So, yeah. so individually then, what was your perception of Jelly and me? Did you know me and my channel? Like... Did you watch no, my song? No, my I stuff? actually, I had no idea who uh, you were. I think. Really? I think, well, maybe I'd heard of you. Yeah, yeah. But I wasn't like a, uh, wow, Jelly's a huge, I didn't know. Like, I didn't know wow. how big you were before we started recording. Like my really. YouTube channel, not. Yeah, yeah. I would say when I started talking to you guys, I obviously looked into it a little bit. Yeah. Um, so so what so when you met Jelly, is it, did you have any expectations of what Jelly would be like based on, well, <laughs> like, the little inf info you had, I guess? The little info? No, no okay. hey man i'm out of practice yeah. <laughs> no i would say that jelly was like when i met him in real life i was like geez can you be quiet jelly? You, like that laugh right there if you bring that to a restaurant it's the worst thing ever yeah. so that was my uh that, he laughs like that in real life Sorry. and it's really you know bad. what i find is hilarious as well because i've only just connected the docs on this it kind of sounds like a mad clown and you 
hate clowns. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't like clowns. No, you've got like I a don't... serious fear of clowns. Why are you so scared of clowns? Well, I think my deep. It's actually not that. I'm not really that scared of clowns anymore. Now I'm mostly terrified of the ocean. <laughs> Can I say this? What? Where, where have you? In what house have you lived for the past two years? I have a sea view, but at least <laughs> you have a sea view. But it's quite a every morning, it's like. Ah! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. I've been at his house. I know you haven't, Josh, no. but I'll, no, I'll, of course I'll explain. Hasn't. What your house looks like if you're if you're comfortable with yeah, that. Yeah, I'm sure, not gonna say where sure. it is. I'm gonna move anyway, so might yeah. as well leak the address, Jelly. So, right, you've got the sea, then you've got a beach, mm -hmm. all right? And then there's his house. His wow. house is quite literally on literally, the beach. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes his, if it's really stormy, I can't sleep because of the waves. Like, dude, I sleep. the his bedroom yeah. looks straight at in at, at the beach. You I've can had walk sea water in my grass. Because of the waves that were too big. It was terrifying. <laughs> and, and now you're moving because you're scared of the ocean? Okay, that's not why I'm moving. I don't get terrified just looking at the ocean. But thinking about, like, being stuck in the ocean, that's the worst thing ever. Like, I wouldn't go... I don't think I would go on your boat, first of all, because you're driving it. Hey, what? Hey, what? I've seen how you ride bikes in Holland, okay? I don't... I'm not comfortable in a boat with you. Hey, my boat is very safe. No accidents have ever happened, and I've never crashed it. Well, you've only ridden it, like, two times or something, right? Uh, maybe... 20. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. But I don't have a boating license. Mm. Yeah. Oh, cool. Is yeah. that something to say here? Like, it's, it's legal to ha not have a boat license in Sweden. Why is there so even a boat license? Yeah, what is then? the function of a boat license? I don't know. I don't need one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I haven't learned it, it yet. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, that's, that's, it, it's funny, but everywhere in Europe, you need a license to use a, like a boat. So like you a need a license. Boat, except for in Sweden. Okay. Yeah. Well, so, that, you're lucky then, I guess. Yeah, I'm very lucky. And that's why I bought the boat in Sweden. Okay. Right. I'm yeah. not there all the time, but when I'm there, I have the boat and I don't need a license. Mm. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's crazy because that's... It, $10 actually, million dollars is a lot of money to spend way, on a boat you don't yeah, even yeah, have a license. I know, right? Million crazy. Boat, I, the way I learned using my boat was by <laughs> following YouTube tutorials. Oh, that's safe. <laughs> yeah, I'm never going to go on your boat, Dilly. <laughs> to be fair, like, how, how hard is it to really... <laughs> oh, it's bad. Boat? Like, does this boat go forward or backwards? It? No, the boat doesn't... The boat moves without you wanting it to move. Would you let me drive your boat? Yeah, yeah. Out on the, out on the water, I'd let you use it. Well, okay. what, would you, gonna, you ever invite what, me would to Would you let him use boat? it on the land? No, I mean like... <laughs> 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 I, I meant like not in a harbor. Jelly just takes like me for a ride in the trailer. And <laughs> so, I'm just on the back of the boat. <laughs> Josh, the way you're describing using a boat is like a car. But a car, when you don't want it to move, it stands still. A boat is always moving. It's always it's floating, the, It's Josh. the motion of the ocean, generally. No, it's actually okay. more or less the wind controlling where you go. Ah, right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, because obviously you've got the current of the ocean and you've got the wind pushing you in the other direction or the same. And uh, it's it's rotating you. It's flying you around. It's it's hard to use. I didn't. And I did all of that. of that with a YouTube tutorial. I know this is a little bit off topic, but I did all of that with a YouTube tutorial. And can we all just get a round of applause? Yeah, that's really big. Jelly. Sometimes really Jelly big. just needs uh, a clap on the back. Maybe just don't one be day. safe at all, Jelly. You do great. Hey, it's safe. Okay, so I think it's about time we talk about what happened. Dun, oh. dun, dun. Krainer, uh huh. What? Where did you go? Why? Did you, where? Why did you leave? Yeah. yeah, it's actually something I still question to this day. But <laughs> you know, I've had time to think it over now with uh, therapy and my own thoughts. Can when you I sit can alone you at night? Please take us through. Yeah, my decision making. What <laughs> and what happened? Well, it happened in an hour. Yeah, I remember that because all of a sudden I was blocked. But but I think the the pinch point happened in yeah, the yeah, hour, yeah, but what yeah. happened overall like overall do you get what i mean like yeah 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 so you want to just like start talking about everything now? yeah yeah uh, so, it's up to you yeah yeah it's no up I'm, to you. I'm, I'm fine with it i already knew it was so, coming so, so some basically there were some big issues yeah that contributed to the fall out and you leaving the group yeah it was and, uh it was uh actually just I think what it was, and we can get into that too, but I, I was dealing with addiction at the time yeah. pretty heavily. And, uh, and do you, and just to be clear, everyone, do you want to say what the addictions things were or not? I mean, I'll just say alcohol. Okay. Yeah, that, I'm, I'm fine with that. Um, that was also mostly the problem for a long time. Okay. Uh, so I'm not really, you know, it yeah. doesn't really matter what other stuff was involved, but it, it was mostly alcohol. And I think what really made me leave in the end was that, and I think I've realized this now was... There wasn't any issues with us at all. Like, actually, everything was good. Well, not so good. Maybe we had some problems at the end. But you, uh, the reason why I left was you called me out. And you always did. Yeah, I, I do tend to. But that's a good yeah. thing. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. But back yeah. then, 
I wasn't ready for it. And mm, I think right. I think in order to stay in my comfort zone of just like drinking and not sure. really thinking about things, it was um, it it was really I left just so I could do that. Really. Right, because you almost maybe had too much pressure now yeah, from me yeah. Well, I mean, it's a good thing. Like the expectations are good, and 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 I shouldn't have left, obviously. But I think it was my way of just like staying in my comfort zone because yeah. not not getting called out is a lot better than getting called out when you're in that zone, you know. So I just yeah. wanted to be left alone. And um, fortunately, what happened though is that I got sober. Mm. I did, but so how there was. Take you? To get sober? Yeah. Well, there's a bunch of like points where I was sober for like a long time, but then you relapse in, yeah. into drinking. I mean, yeah. drinking is the hottest one because it's everywhere, you know? Yeah. Like it's. Yeah. Uh, how long, like, how long were you having these issues while we're recording with us? Because I, I. It was a we long didn't, time. We were noticing things that were well, going I wasn't on. Well, showing we, up for a long No, time. I, you didn't tell us that you had an addiction for a while. Yeah, yeah. So I think it's, I don't know when it started. Like I said, I'm really bad with time, but maybe you guys can kind of like point me in the direction. I, I, I wouldn't worry too, about, too much about time. Just focus on the, like, I the think overall, it probably lasted yeah. about like half a year. Yeah. So I think it started, it probably started with me uh, feeling like my, my relationship was going bad at the time, you know? Uh, the with, six, this is with your with now my ex. ex-wife. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that was going bad, like not anything dramatic. It was just, we weren't really in love anymore. Um, haven't done anything bad in that scenario, I would say. I was actually really good. But uh, so I probably started noticing that i had problems because i was sad about that and i yeah. like drink to not think about it and it took us a long time to break up you know and we, when we eventually did it was also around the time that my dad died mm, so right. there was a lot of things and for somebody who's really bad at dealing with emotions i think it was uh, a yeah. it was a um so, a natural thing for it to happen because i think yeah. t towards the end as well like there was a i think there was a bit of a shift so i think at, at the beginning stages of it becoming visible mm -hmm. you know you were turning up to recording somewhat under the influence and you know yeah. sometimes from our perception and mm -hmm. when i say under the influence i might mean you know it's the the day after and you're right. you know mm -hmm. you're it, crazy it doesn't mean you know there's, yeah, yeah, there's, yeah there's all sorts of different or things moody. and yeah. and i think at the beginning we were me and jelly had the maybe the softer approach like yeah. and i think it right when you said about calling out that actually probably came later down the line yeah 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 you yeah. uh i specifically remember one point where uh i don't know if you want me to say this but you you told me that we weren't friends anymore because you were so disappointed which you know i, I that really hurt me that was then. more of the crunch point after yeah yeah, yeah 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 but you were so tired of my uh bullshit that um that you said that to me and that that was really hurtful because uh you know i considered us friends and mm. you had always been actually uh i would say the the one that was most um uh attentive or, or like you always knew present i suppose yeah but you always also like had for some reason you've always had an insight in my mind like you were <laughs> you were really early the one that said you need therapy and you need to like yeah. seek help yeah. and there's probably you probably have adhd and stuff like that and some unresolved issues and you were always kind of like in my mind which was also terrifying <laughs> yeah and i think it's a mixture of things where it's like i was i for one reason or another i was able to recognize it or yeah. doesn't mean i have really any proper skill in handling it no. so sort of doing as best as i can but then i think definitely you got were, to a you breaking were definitely point. so but why did you say it why did you say we're not friends anymore i think it was it was in my mind it was i was sort of just saying to crane i was like i just can't when i say with, that deal with it you. was like i can't support it anymore like yeah, i yeah, can't yeah. which is uh there's too many too many repetitions of the same yeah. problem solution problem solution lying. and i was just like I, yeah, and it was more of me saying like i'm not trying to Obviously, we got we live in this complex world of YouTuber friendships, where yeah. it's like mm. business friendship, and I think it was me just making a point of like, look, I I've done what I can on the mm -hmm. personal side of things, yeah. and I'm I'm not I'm not capable of doing. Well, also, this. it's exhausting, uh, and that's something, yeah, that, that, that's one thing that I've also <laughs> you know realized a lot is that it affects people around you a lot more than it probably does yourself. I mean, I wasn't feeling good at all; I was feeling terrible. And I th but I think, it's I think, also hard on people to see you go down that road. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And I think the reason why I was so, um, so uh, to the point mm -hmm. on it was I was sort of saying to you, like, I don't want to disrupt your business. I don't want yeah. to disrupt well, how could Jelly's you? business in a sense, how, how like none of that. I was just saying like that part of it, 
Yeah, is well, I can't do it anymore. Well, how with that? Because like, it's like one moment everything's fine, then there's like 50 messages that yeah. everything's bad. So I get it. I, I don't blame you at all. It wasn't like a... We, um, wanted, we actually... You guys always we, wanted the best for me. Yeah, we, And you were very... By the way, I got to say this. You were very like... It, very patient with me and you always was we, okay with me returning and yeah. like a week later so you guys did nothing wrong you were fantastic but the reason why i left nice. like i said was and it was kind of weird because that was where i kind of stopped having the problems but right. maybe i just needed some alone time but I, I i simply just left because one you also get exhausted from disappointing people sure that, that's also it's not easy on me it's not like i'm sitting here enjoying disappointing you guys and that's actually the hardest part of seeing people around you also be disappointed, you know? So it was easier to remove yeah. myself from seeing that as well. And how did you do that? How did you remove yourself from us? I kind of, just like I said, a smoke bomb dropped and I, I just left. So I think from, I think basically a very, a fairly minor disagreement happened. Very minor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah, you, said you, you sort of just used that as a... Yeah, because the disagreement was between you guys because I was always just... I was trying to be supportive of your yeah. situation, but I also didn't want to be too personal about it. I just wanted you to. I yeah. mean, we definitely seek you, help. You definitely had the conflicts. We all had the conflicts. Yeah. Yeah. The specific crunch point was a was a dispute between me and Craner on whatever. Yeah. And I remember you just said that you were done with me. Yeah. I was. I was. Uh, it was just like it was. It was because completely... I was. I was uh, actually at the airport and I was late for a flight. Yeah. But I wouldn't oh. have been late for a flight oh, and you if missed, I had. Yeah. You missed our recording session. But that was also like, it was also my fault. I would have been on time if I hadn't been, you know, so, and I think, drinking. But I think what Je like what would be interesting for Jelly is that, so obviously then you det detracted, you snapped back, but then you you then went and blocked Jelly. Yeah, yeah. You, you didn't block Josh. You, uh, didn't? You, you blocked me on one thing, <laughs> but then you blocked Jelly on like 10. You blocked days. me everywhere <laughs> and we didn't even have the beat. No, I think I was actually mad at you because like... I mean, it doesn't make any sense, but at that point, I wanted you to back me up because I felt like Josh was uh, being. Mean oh yeah, to me. I remember you were being. Yeah, really so I was like, on. "Why are you not like backing me up a little bit?" But also, I didn't deserve any backup. So, right, you know, looking now back on it now, you see why I didn't back. Yeah, yeah, it it's all funny. makes sense now when I'm removed from yeah. it. You know, I didn't deserve any backup. I think it says a lot about the mindset you had at the time, though, that you almost something happened and you almost became angrier at the person who didn't support you than yeah. the person that made you. Yeah, well, like I was just. Uh, I didn't even know about the conversation you guys yeah. had. So all of a sudden, out of the blue, yeah. you dropped that smoke bomb and you were out of my life. Well, I, th I think it's it's just the point of like, uh, you know, when you just want to be left alone, really. Like, um, you don't want to be uh, judged and you don't want to have yeah. like these confrontations. So, so you made that selfish decision. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and this time I didn't go to another YouTuber. <laughs> No, no, <laughs> yet. So, so that one was purely came just, calling back here. Hey, <laughs> you guys invited me. I'm okay. just so, kidding. so, what was the um? So, what was that process like afterwards? Then, so you. So you what happened about after the therapy? I, and yeah, so I started. Uh, you 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 split with your wife at that at your, yeah that point. Yeah, right? that happened roughly before that. Did it before was it? That was in December, I okay. think, or maybe before. I'm really bad at remembering months. But around around that time, though, there yeah. was the that, and then there was um yeah, yeah. with your dad as yeah. well. So, what what did you go through afterwards then? Like without you guys. I guess yeah. Like, what was the? Because we that's did you stop that, uploading? Well, I, I, yeah, I think I just kind of took it loosely because I knew I had to focus on myself mostly as well. You know, um, I think you vanished on YouTube for about a month or two. Well, I had, I had like all of December. I probably didn't upload at all. I think, mm. um, but yeah. So what happened in the period after I left you guys is, um, well, I, I just kind of like was fed up with it myself, you know, I, yeah. I, and I also realized very quickly after blocking you guys that it was a mistake. But at that point, you're kind of a Did bit you though, embarrassed. Because, oh, I know. It took you nine months to unblock me. Yeah, but it's also embarrassing. And I actually remember that you unblocked Josh before me. And that was because he, he uh, hit me up on Twitter first, actually. Oh, he did? I didn't know that. Yeah, that, but, that, yeah. but that was another... That we, I don't think we need to... I mean, it's. I think, obviously, one of the interesting things, though, is... Um, I don't know how much you two want to get into it, but obviously oh. um, there was like a second phase to the fallout, in, in my view at least, Yeah. where um, I think maybe where you were making somewhat of a comeback to the YouTube thing, but in a in the just the craner. And part of that was you bringing in someone to help out with some of the business stuff, but you, you, mean, had, an, oh yeah. you had an existing 
Oh, we're talking about merch. Now. Yeah. Oh, the viewer doesn't oh, even you know. Two, you two had a business okay. partnership. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll quickly explain it for the for the listener or for the viewer. So I run my own merchandise business. Yep. Uh, it's a fulfillment company, and we do merchandising not just for myself, but for some other creators as well. And at the time, Craner was also yeah. involved. So mm -hmm. uh, you were working together with my, my, my merchandising business. Yeah. We owned, uh, or actually... The way the contract was set up, you you actually owned all the stuff, yeah. and we were handling it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we would also pay for all the stuff that you owned. Mm -hmm. um, and during this fallout, you wanted to leave this merchandising business. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was mostly also because I just felt like it was a bit weird to be. Yeah. Under well, I felt it was weird. Yeah, I had you blocked, and then we still do merch together. So that was kind of like, yeah. I ju I just decided to like. Pull it all back and, yeah. and and go on my own uh, with with that venture. Yeah, yeah, but that was also a thing where you probably felt very slight. I mean, it didn't it, didn't really go down in the cleanest way, did it? No, I, I mean, so for me, I just I had somebody handle it all. Yeah. So I actually don't know. I, well, I didn't know at the time how it all was handled. I was just told it's being handled. Yeah. And it was as well. I mean, he did a great job. I think. Uh, well, you know, I don't want well, to. I had, didn't. didn't I do met. A great I job. met. <laughs> I met this guy you're talking about. Who helped yeah. you. He, he's a nice guy. Uh, but he was accusing us of like hiding numbers, yeah. hiding uh, or overcharging you. Uh, but like, yeah, but I knew, and then I, we were just like, we were, like, it was just like, where, well, where is all of this coming from? I, like, I couldn't believe it was coming from you. Uh, it wasn't coming. I, I, but, I mean, but Crane, I think but I was upset about that. I was I, like, why would he think that all of a sudden? I didn't I'm think like, that at all. But Crane, I, it's interesting point. because this is a point now looking at this from the outside because yeah. I wasn't involved in this. Yeah. I think this is a point that is somewhat missed here. Yeah. That it was, it was, you know, you set up that agreement yourself, mm -hmm. right? And that was you and Jelly doing yeah. something. Yeah. Now, your what you say is, I did, I wasn't a part of that, right? With this, what Jelly's referring like when, to, like when we uh, dropped out of it, yeah, yeah, and like that was someone else doing that. Yeah. I think that's maybe part of the problem. That is yeah, part because of the problem. you're not. That is my entire yeah, problem. You're not taking responsibility. Was, for that's it, my entire problem. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's it, my entire problem. And I think that was potentially what almost caused that second. I issue. think it would have been not no no issue at all if I had handled it and we yeah. just talked. Yeah. But obviously, me being me and. Um, yeah. Back then, I, I wasn't going to take that confrontation. Yeah. But I had no point thought that you were cheating me out of anything. Uh, I just kind of... Well, well, there was it wasn't just that. It, at first, it was like... At first, your your guy who was helping you said mm -hmm. that we were lying about numbers and hiding numbers mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, hiding money, essentially. And then, uh, I think... I don't know if I can say this, but you guys changed your company name. And then you said that the contract wasn't valid anymore. When you to say, get out of the deal. When, when you say we said it, I, I just want to emphasize that I had, yeah, you know. Well, yeah, so that, the, that, and that was, I was like, okay, so first he thinks we're lying, and then he tries to get out of a contract by changing a company name, which isn't even legally binding. And, and I, was, I was like, I didn't even need the money back, but I was just like disappointed. Like, yeah. what? where is all this coming from? We'd been working together for two and a half years. You know, we... Between I don't wanna, our work and gaming relationship, we never I mean, shared yeah, a dollar. I guess I got you it. Know, I, I got like, nobody actually knows who we're talking about, but I just no. want to say he had my interest. You know? Yeah, I know. And, I know. And, and, yeah, and yeah, he, and he yeah, can be yeah. tough, and that's also a good thing. But well, I think yeah. he had your interest, but he didn't have your insight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Like you know, how would he? He was just looking for the cheapest way out. Yeah, he's uh, so he's like uh, he's the businessman, and you guys know me. I'm not a business minded person at all, so I actually need somebody like him. Yeah. But I'm I'm very upset that. He, uh, I was very upset that he went that route with you guys. I suppose. Uh, I suppose the, I know you guys. I suppose so. the, the 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 route would have been, you know, you got yourself into that. You probably should have got yourself. Yeah, out. I should have. And I if you did, been an adult we probably it. should never. It, there, there wouldn't have been a problem. Yeah, and I think a lot of the problems identified are just coming from that that disconnection. Yeah, yeah. yeah really. I was I was, was completely removed from it, and I I remember at one point I was caught up a little bit on it, and I and I also said that we should uh, resolve it as quickly yeah. as possible. So when I actually got in the loop of things. It was uh, not as clean as I thought it was. So, what was your first impression when you got in the loop of things? You were like, "What's going on?" Here? No, I was very or... sad. Yeah, because okay. I, I, I thought first of all, when I left, and the months after, I didn't want you guys to have any further problems with me, and I don't think anything bad of you guys, so I, I wouldn't want it to be an issue. Yeah. So I was, I was upset by that. Actually, really saddened by it too, because then yeah. it looks like I'm some kind of like businessman it, asshole. It made you first. look like a huge leech. Yeah, but you, you just used. A business and then you wanted to get out of yeah. it uh, well, in the well, cheapest I mean, way possible. So I thought know? that we can always just pull out if we pay for it. 
like I thought that was just like okay, that's fine. Well, then. yeah, that was the thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. but it, it, that I thought it was gonna be okay. We want to get out. You get paid. Done. That's how I thought things were handled, and I'm I'm sorry that they weren't. It's uh, okay. It's and it's, yeah. it's funny as well because I don't personally blame you. No. It's, uh, well, you can. But a at little the bit. time, I didn't also know how yeah. much you were aware of it because I was blocked everywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And that also makes sense because by the time you unblocked me, I didn't even want to talk to you. It's like, funny because we actually we've <laughs> always had a policy. Um, obviously, this is mainly for me and Jelly because we've been with other people, but yeah. we've always generally had a quite a strong policy of uh, not interlacing funds too much and yeah. being careful with money and not really paying each other things for things yeah yeah and it's 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 always historically it's funny how it, it has caused issues when that happens yeah um, yeah actually funny enough even just setting up this podcast me and jelly put a lot of time into just thinking how can we structure this in a way that is just indisputable like right? we could end it tomorrow uh and, and we're pretty there's no problems. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. We have it. We had it. We have it figured out before. Yeah, b before. Yeah. Well, that's a good thing. But and it's going back to that YouTube friend yeah. business thing. That's yeah. really difficult. For instance, make it all right, use four cameras here. We can divide by two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, it didn't go like that with the merch. It didn't go like that with the merch. No, no. I'm sorry about that. That was a, it's okay, that was a missed thing. Well, a lot of things were missed. Well, we, we, when you unblocked me, I didn't want to talk to you. No, that's because understandable. Of this, because you like kind of you know threw me under the bus there yeah it was it was also like it's a family business for you so it's uh i can i can understand why it's also a soft spot you know yeah but then but then eventually we talked it out yeah and, well, and, a little and bit i think i think you also know like when i explained it you're also like okay i'm not surprised that crane i had no idea <laughs> no like, like I, not I, when it comes to that kind at of the stuff. time i had a suspicion but i yeah. still was like why why doesn't yeah. he have an idea because as an outsider, it's difficult to look into somebody's mind. At least for yeah. me, like you said, well, Josh also, might you, be a little bit better. You guys are very, but... very uh, professional, and uh, you uh, you handle business stuff a lot better than I do. So it's probably weird when somebody comes along that just doesn't really care. Like I, I can't, I can't wrap my mind around money or or things like that. I just don't really care that much. Yeah, uh, it's never really been so. The goal. So why why are you still doing YouTube? Why well, I'm still doing YouTube? Mm. I'm having fun with it, actually. Still, yeah. I mean, it's a bit lonely now. Yeah. But uh, but no, it's it's uh, I would say it's it's just a part of the routine, right? Like, what else would I be doing? I have no idea. Like, if I don't wake up and record, I what what do I What's do? What's your then? routine like? Well, I wake up at like well nowadays, sober living hashtag. I go to bed at like eight or nine. Oh, and I God. wake up at like five or six. I got a dog <laughs> now that I gotta walk. What's his name? Anton. He's really cute. Anton. Yeah. Yeah. Had him for about, I think he's like nine months, 10 months now. And have you, so, because when you recorded with us, you've also had some other pets as well. Yeah, I had cats. What happened to those? Well, pets? I mean, uh, we I broke up with my ex-wife yeah. and uh, she obviously couldn't take them because she moved into an apartment. Yeah. And uh, it was just too much for me in that period to actually handle uh, right. having those pets. Cats are... I think I think they're more difficult than dogs because you gotta clean the litter box every day, and I was already hungover, so it was like that was a nightmare. <laughs> so I uh, sorry, I'm laughing. We ended up giving them to uh, responsible people. But you also had a dog before that as well. Yeah, that was Bobby. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He, you gave him to your sister. Right? Yeah, my sister has yeah. him. <laughs> Look, okay, Anton is not going anywhere. And I what swear. about the cat before the dog? The cat before the or dog. Or the cat after the dog? Oh, the cat before the dog actually died. Oh. Yeah, he got run over or something. I actually we found him like. So frozen. is this now that you've got your new dog for yeah. nine months? Is that the longest you've had a pet for? No, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm, just... I'm a good pet parent, okay. Why? Why learned... do you think that you went? Uh, well, you, you don't have... I, I think <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's definitely a funny <laughs> one because obviously we've had this as a conversation between us back in the day. Yeah, you guys always me and Jelly. Me. Well, me and Jelly have like we are do dog people. Yeah. yeah, and the concept for us of of getting rid of our dogs is like yeah. Well, I, I get that now. It's actually, mind blowing. I have that. I have those feelings. It's my with child. The, for the first time ever, I have that feeling with Anton. Yeah, that it's your child. Yeah, 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 hmm. yeah. I'm very, very careful with so him. Did you not build the as a connection with those other animals? Well, I, with Bobby, I was very young, um, and the cats not really like the cats were her, her idea. I remember you found the cats very annoying. Well, yeah, that <laughs> hairless cat was super annoying, dude. He would like <laughs> bang on my door. <laughs> and me out like he was so loud i slept in craner's house and he was loud Josh. right yeah i slept in craner's house and i remember i slept in the the like it it, it, it was a guest bed but the, the the cat loved to use that bed mm -hmm. 
and he, the cat was very <laughs> upset that I was using his bed. Yeah, it was a funny cat. I, I actually really liked that cat, but it was just like, <laughs> 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 I really liked that one. Okay, he was my no, he Melvin, was right? he was really cute. But the thing about hell is cats, Josh. If you're wearing that T-shirt, for example, it's gonna get like stained. Yeah. Yeah. So it just didn't work your lifestyle. No, I was. It was it, in my it, bed. It, it period. stained too many T-shirts. But those guys, they sweat, right? Oil. They have like yeah. oils coming out of their yeah, skin. Yeah, you gotta wash them and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, they're very oily. And you know the thing is, right? I always thought that I, because I'm allergic to cats. You always thought you were oily. Or? No, 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 no. So. No. Ugh. <laughs> I'm allergic to cats, and I thought, oh, this is going to be great. I'm going to sleep out of our craners. He's got a hairless cat, so it's not going to be an issue for me. Apparently, <laughs> it has nothing to do with cats' hair. No. It has something to do with their saliva that they spread everywhere. He just and this, licked you? Yeah, and he just licked me. And, ah, oh, it hurts, dude. And this 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 naked cat just touching He was very cute. Feet. He was one of my favorite ones. <laughs> Sound like Crane a serial naked. killer. <laughs> so where did, you, where did they go? Well, um, the guy that handled the merch stuff. <laughs> I don't have any faith in those cats. <laughs> <laughs> or where no, are they guy. okay <laughs> they went there was in the backyard there was a shotgun no i'm kidding uh, <laughs> well i told <laughs> no i told him i told him to help me out because i was obviously drunk and uh i couldn't take care look i was responsible responsibly you, drunk you guys wouldn't want me to take you care were of responsibly your drunk then, right? yeah i told him can you please make sure they get to a good home and he did right yeah. have you checked up on them at all mm, i got a picture like the first week or something like that okay. but no. just like sunday and lancy he's like eh, see you later smoke cats. Bombs. <laughs> he smoked bombs his think, own cats look okay i'm not ashamed of <laughs> greater man where's this ending well out? what do you guys want me to do do you want me to take so, care of two cats so the what when i'm I, so are, is your, are your pets an analogy for your youtube career Kind where of, you, yeah. you get to a new pet and then you find a better pet. So you ditch the old pet. I would say, and go for the new listen, pet. I would have kept those cats. Okay. If situations were a bit different. Just like you would have stu stuck with Sunday. Okay, the dude. situations. Okay, dude. Situations were a little bit different. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think you guys would have agreed that it was good to do. Well, you know, yeah. point. This, if this, you had seen me, you would have sure. This podcast you shouldn't take care of cats right now. Sure. Yeah. Mm. But you know this podcast is gonna live on the internet, right? Yeah. Like we'll see in a couple of years where the dogs. Where the okay, dogs... dude, don't say that. <laughs> Someone's gonna clip Craner in, in like a year's time. I actually have built a really good relationship with my dog. Okay. Oh. And I'm very mindful of it. Speaking of relationships, so you've also got a new relationship. <laughs> I don't know how far you want to go into it, but that's all that that's a new stage of your life as well, right? Yeah, yeah. So you've yeah, got a got new a partner. Girlfriend. Yeah, we've been together for a year, or so it's nice. She helped me a lot get that's sober, good. and so did the guy with the merch. That we're not naming his name is toby by the way i think we can say that i thought we were just not naming it no it's fine i mean that's not his full name oh uh, okay okay he's a good friend of mine really yeah, good friend i yeah. like tommy he's helped me uh through everything a lot i he's remember I'm, this might be going a little bit off the rails i just want to tell a quick story about tommy your friend right i have a lot of stories he, he hadn't tommy. been or at least as far as i knew at the time he had never tried the german highway before yeah and you guys were visiting me mm -hmm. with landing in germany you rented you guys tried to rent the fastest car yeah to test out the german highway the autobahn yeah and he was just talking to me about it yeah yeah it was uh, well I you were the passenger because you weren't sober or i don't know but. It, yeah i wasn't sober no yeah but also uh i don't really care that much about cars so uh i mean yeah <laughs> well yeah it was funny that's the first time i met tommy he was driving full speed in a bmw yeah <laughs> and yeah. now he's in charge of your business so very responsible <laughs> yeah, yeah. very responsible <laughs> he is responsible you know he uh <laughs> well you don't have a boat without a license i don't think you can really knock him also uh, you probably go just as fast down the highway i don't i'm not saying that at all, okay but, yeah okay well, yeah, he's helped me out a lot. He's one of the big reasons I got sober, and so is she and my therapist, too. And your dog. And my dog, yeah, sure. How often do you take him out? To walk? Yeah. Twice a day. Oh, poor dog. Why? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. They go out more than that? I'm <laughs> you guys got to break something for me now? I mean, I'd say minimum you, you, three. You do, you do feed it, though, right? It doesn't. Yeah, you, sometimes. Karen's like, I take it out to eat the grass. Yeah. yeah once yeah. a day. Yeah. yeah, it's a vegetarian dog. <laughs> yeah. Just like you guys. <laughs> Oh, well, really? Yeah. We're going to roast diet uh, restrictions? No, here. no. You guys can eat whatever or whatever you don't want to. Right, so one of, the, one of the things that we kind of glanced over, but I think is, is a really fun thing to, to discuss. So back when you used to record initially, back in the Craner days. Oh, no. You had a really different oh, voice. Yeah, can yeah. You, can you please... Can you, you I don't think can I you, can. You don't think you can do it? Hello. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. Oh, that's on. Kind please. of. I mean, it's been years since I've done it. 
And the funny thing is, I was thinking about it on my way here, how it started, and I don't know. I don't know when it started or how it started. And I remember me and Sunday talking about it one day too, back when I was doing that voice. I was like, when did this start? And he what, was like, you just, you, when did me being high pitched start? Yeah, and, and he was like, like, I have no idea. You just kind of did it all of a sudden. But you did it, I assume, to attract to a younger audience. I have no clue. I don't know. Because then I like made a Were video so where I came out with my real voice in a video. That was pretty cringe. But yeah, so nobody cared. I, I was like, why did I do this? But that video is pretty popular. Yeah. You know, I guess people did care back then, yeah. But Are you nobody shy was about like, it now? Uh, my voice back yeah, then? Yeah, I mean, it's... Embarrassed. Yeah, it's a little bit cringe, isn't it? Yeah. So, because I actually, I think when I looked at the last couple of videos you've put up, I think your voice is getting higher again. It is? That's a bad sign. Ah. You guys need to lock me up straight away. That's a really <laughs> I, bad I sign. I think it is. Where? I've actually, I, I've thought about it too, but I think it's just when I record, it's it just happens i think maybe when you record on your own more as well maybe yeah it's like ah, a, hello, my it's name sort of compensating a bit yeah maybe yeah, you know i need to be funny i don't know what it is but you you also said so wait wait wait. funny high pitched voice equals funny what? you're loud equals funny you can't talk dude <laughs> <laughs> i like you said i'm i'm loud in person too yeah it, yeah it, you're it, just it, naturally loud actually i'm just naturally loud yeah yeah so because i remember you saying that the the voice thing actually hurt your throat yeah it did obviously like yeah. you would you would what? get to the end of the recording and you'd feel like your throat was, did you say it was like bleeding almost? Like, Dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's do I remember like, that you saying that? Yeah, it's kind of like coughing constantly because you got to strain it so much, dude. I think Josh <laughs> is the only one that sounds exactly the same on video because you are louder on in recording. Yeah, so. I'm a little bit louder on recording. Yeah, no, but yeah. you definitely are loud in person as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The amount of times I've been anywhere and with, I and, mean, and Santa's like, yeah. <laughs> no, also, so like, loud. Yeah, it's, it's just terrible. It's so embarrassing. My loud. I remember you actually scared Tommy the first time you laughed at him. <laughs> I remember clearly we were standing at like a at intersection or something like that, and and you, he, he made a joke to you that you apparently found really funny, and you would just went ha ha ha, and he, and he was like, <laughs> I, I remember that so clearly, dude. See, but but you've also met some of my friends that are also like they were also. But all your friends liked me, though. Yeah, they did. Yeah, <laughs> I hope. Yeah, the way Jenny yeah. says that. All your friends liked but, me. But my but, but, friends like me. All my friends yeah. like me. No, but, they did. You're a likable person. But on me. YouTube, we are all an exaggerated yeah. version of our own personalities. I mean, mm. this is probably the most normal I've been on YouTube. In and how does that how does that feel? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, right. Like, yeah. And no it, high pitched voice. Yeah, sober. Because so, at the beginning, sober. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dilly. <laughs> yeah, hungover. <laughs> not today, right? Do you? No, I'm not hungover. Do you feel? Uh, Do I look? Oh, yeah, I look good, right? You look great. Thank you. Thank you. A little bit of time, a little bit of a. Jet you guys lag, don't maybe. smell any beer. Not. No. Oh wait, can I say this? What was your favorite drink? My, f I don't. Uh, Do jelly. <laughs> Oh, if I we gotta go down that road, man. Hey, you know, like I'm, I'm getting thirsty just thinking of no. Oh my god, oh god. jelly's the reason that. Okay, Whoa! I actually, I actually don't have any problems now. Just like seeing it and stuff like that. It's uh, right. I, but is that a weird thing to ask to an alcoholic? No, no. I'm, I don't really know it's if like I if identify you ask, as an If you ask someone who anymore. smokes, like, what do you smoke? Well, I mean, you know what I mean. I don't. I don't find any offense to it, Jelly. You can ask me. I don't. I don't think I had a fa favorite thing. I just or wanted. someone we with were, a gaming addiction. Can see, you not ask what we, game they're we playing? Were, we were going to bring in the, <laughs> the, the bring in the game. alcohol trolley. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, you no. Got, no, no. It's so, fine. So you uh, at the beginning of the podcast, you obviously are quite nervous um, coming into this. Quite nervous mm -hmm. about this. How, how are you shaking? Can you please? How do you? F how are you feeling? No, I actually feel. I'm always a bit shaky. How are you feeling with how this conversation's gone so far? Well, it's very open. I would say. So oh, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of afraid of being judged because one the whole lancy poo thing yeah the sunday thing you guys think. so the things you've said in this podcast you're worried about being judged well i don't regret it because it is like the truth you know yeah and i have gotten better um which we should probably also talk about like what that road was like but sure. uh, um no i don't i don't regret it no i think it's fine i think people are gonna maybe like it yeah and, i uh, think so i hopefully think hopefully raise a little bit of awareness as well because i had no idea that i had a tendency for any addiction like it was a very new thing when it happened sure yeah. and very weird all of a sudden to yeah. be right experiencing but apparently it was in my family and i didn't really know about it mm. and, and your so, family so, being your dad no my my dad's brother died from an overdose i think Right. Or something like that. I haven't really gotten the full story. So it's it's kind of like in the family. And I think you should be aware of that if it's yeah. in your family that it, it can transfer right. somehow. So tell us a little bit about the road you went through to get better. Well, it was, it, it was kind of like, I wouldn't say, 
I don't know if I ever had a Did hard you go time. to an institution? No, no, I never went to like AA or anything like that. I just kind of like quit cold turkey and I think it just cold turkey. Yeah, where well, you just stop. Oh. Yeah. You, but you still eat. But I had relapses sometimes too. I haven't had a relapse in a long time. I think like over a year now. Do you um, still drink alcohol? I I have a beer every once in a while. Yeah. Okay. But what I do now if I go out is that I bring my car with me so I, I at least know hey so you I can drunk drive. drive. Back. Yeah, so I no, so I know <laughs> I have to drive back and be responsible, Josh. Sure. Yeah, so I have like little strategies I use, but also, um, you know, just talking to a therapist and right. and, and getting, uh, you know, ADHD, ADHD diagnosis and uh, some other stuff, anxiety. Right. I mean, I've been dealing with a lot of that my entire life. So I think at some point it was bound to just like explode yeah. uh, if you don't deal with it for 27 years or whatever. Yeah. It kind of gets overwhelming at, at yeah. one point. And I didn't actually know I needed help, but. You know, the having the drinking. Are issues you still open. getting help? Yeah, I go every month. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And and and, it, and that's just to stay on top of it. No, it's or? not. It has nothing to do with being sober at this point. It's just. It's just a good feeling. It's just talking about my mind and right. and what I experience because right. um, it, it can be hard living with ADHD. You know, a lot of people think it's it's like quirky. You know, like. Right. But no, it's a lot of negative thinking about yourself. It's a lot of anxiety. And I also have like OCD stuff that also stresses me out. And But I get medicated now too. So that, that's also right. helped out a lot. What I'm impressed about is even though you're on your own, you are still posting videos twice a day. Yeah. You're on your own. You've been going through a lot. Mm. How are you keeping this up? I still find it fun. I still genuinely find it fun. And if I don't do it, I have a bad day. So it's it's a thing I have to do. I feel like, and I want to do it. It's uh, so you're finding it fun to play Roblox. <laughs> yeah, actually, it is fun. Yeah, yeah really. I, I, I'm actually. What's your gonna, favorite Roblox game? I don't have one. I play everything. So well, you thought it was, fun. but I really like playing simulators right. and tycoons and stuff like that. I think it's fun. I don't know. It's easy to record, which is important when you're alone. Yeah, there's a lot of content on there that I can do, and it's free. Do as you well. do you feel like you're still? engaging with your audience do you feel no. like you have a no I, I i i really don't feel like there's a lot of engagement no why is that why don't so you, you feel, engage you feel disconnected from your audience well a little bit i mean they're very nice still and they obviously ask about you guys all the time and wanted an explanation you guys also get that i'm sure uh now you got one guys i did post a community post channel uh, a community post on my channel what did you say well i just said we decided to go our separate ways and i wanted to focus on myself i saw that but also you know when I read, you want to know my feelings when I read your community post. Yeah. I was like, what's this guy talking about? Well, I mean, what was I going to say? <laughs> no, it's true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think this podcast explains. It's a better, better explanation now. Yeah. 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 Mm. For sure. What were you saying, actually? I don't know. No. <laughs> I, um, I've, got, I've, got an interesting, I've got an interesting question for you. Oh, here okay. we go. Ooh. So there's, so for the viewer, there's, there's a constant, which is basically me and Jelly, right? Yeah. Um, for, the, for, the, for the average viewer. Um, they've, they if they've been there from the beginning, they've seen Quebecop, they've seen Craner, but they've never seen Craner and Quebecop. No. What is your... going to come out now? Bring him out. No. Yeah. <laughs> what is your, what do you think about Quebecop? He was actually, he's been really nice to me. Yeah. Have you I've... ever met him? No, no. But we, uh, I think we messaged each other back when we first started recording where he was just like, Hey, don't, don't think about, you know, what people are saying. Cause they were like, kind of like Quebecop. Keb Quebble Cup 2.0. Mm -hmm. Right. And he was just very nice. So, yeah, he seems like a nice dude. And um, so you, what do you think about what he's doing now? Like, do you, do you keep up with anything that he no, does nowadays? No, no. no. I have Did no you know clue. that we had him as a guest before you? Yeah. So you are Quebble Cup 2.0. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah. I guess I'm not that important. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, but I don't really We just keep wanted up. to keep it in time frame. You know? <laughs> what? Wait, wait, say again? He just went, no. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I don't really keep up with him. No, right? So you, so you, so you don't really have much view on him at all. You've had brief conversations, and they were all sort of pleasant, but otherwise. No, no, I haven't talked to him that much. No. Mm -hmm. no what do you think about his hair? Uh, big, <laughs> big hair. <laughs> I don't know. What Such do you want me to say about incredible his hair? insight? What do you Thank think about my you. hair? Um, well, you were late because of a hair dryer today. I wasn't late. You were. Josh was more late than me. To be fair, we start when we start, okay? It's, it's the creative process. I was outside the hotel for like 15 minutes waiting for you. Craner, what? I told you 9.45. I was there 9.43. And I was there 9.55. And then you had to check out too. And then I don't even know. 
But at least we made it. Right, right. And That's we were true. still earlier than Josh. It's like the good old days, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. he's always late. Yeah. And this he is always... like an ongoing joke that Josh is always late. But to the all funny thing about sessions. the joke is he always says you're late. Well, that's because he says you don't. We don't start until we start, mm. which makes no sense. What does that even? The mean? thing is, is, I've just always had this view, and I don't. I don't even care now. <laughs> but my view of it is like I don't really. It, it, the thing is, being late means nothing to me because. But it means if I, you were in there waiting. before that. If I then get into the recording and then I spend the first half an hour to an hour setting stuff up okay yeah, really that's fair. and then these two are just by the way i've missed that we'd be sitting there with a finger in each other's butt like look playing please, around josh i really miss you setting stuff up for me. <laughs> I, i'm not as funny when i don't have something set up for me and yeah i miss and it. that's my view it. on it and yeah. and that's that's a that's but a, you signed sorry, up what? for that i said i don't miss it because it's still happening oh yeah you signed up for it though oh see well, I'm, i don't is, mind we it. have to let josh set josh things up. is the brain or was i mean i'm not here anymore but you're the brain and we're kind of like the idiots. You know? I don't think I'm the brain. I just, it's... The problem is, right? Who, he's the brain. Think then? about, no, no, no. L listen, this podcast wouldn't have happened if it wasn't Josh's wait, studio. Wait, 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 We want to ask a fun question first, right? Because uh, we asked Jordy the same oh, thing. Oh, yeah, 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 we did. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, out of interest then, it's kind of a trick question in a sense, but oh, no. who, who do you think came up for the, with the idea for the podcast? You. No. No? Was that Jelly? It was my idea. Really? What yeah. about the name then? The, the name was my idea. Yeah, that was too good to be Jelly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, jelly, jelly was just like podcast. And then, then Josh is like, yep, setting yeah. it all up, coming up with the great name, the graphics, I, yeah. the cameras. Well, the thing is, right? I, like starting a podcast had been going in and out of my mind for a while. And uh, I know that it, it wouldn't have happened anywhere else but here where josh is located i gotta say actually i should have thought that you didn't come up with it because i would never have like i didn't think you would ever make a podcast because you're you're more private than me i would say mm. oh yeah uh, maybe we already touched on it but yeah the entire reason that this podcast exists is because josh needs to be in control <laughs> okay yeah and well, i, I allow you were about him. to say outside he needs no to be outside. <laughs> josh well maybe yeah could get a little bit more tan on that Cute oh, hundred percent. But, but he's just British. I allow him to be in control because Josh does a good job at being in. So control. maybe Jelly's in control because he's giving me the control. Yeah, it's like playing three D chess. Yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, well, maybe I wouldn't we say that. I think I think we're we're on a draw there. But, I, I, to be honest yeah. with you, I I think that it's doing the one thing I will how say. You, how are you sitting on this pillow? What, are you supposed to use it? It's for your back. Well. I mean, you like, can you can sit. He's like you want. sitting on a, like a third. He's like yeah, one third this of the pillow has so, been. This is so uncomfortable. Throw, the throw it thing, at the person who bought it. I'm kidding. Of the pillow. <laughs> I use two thirds of the pillow. <laughs> Damn. You like that? He's making a point. <laughs> that was a quick. One. I think he, he I think. Stole it for me. I said he's using one. Jelly. I think the control. Th the one thing I will say on that though is I think it's doing a little bit of a disservice to the rest of the team that we actually do have helping of us. Course, oh, yeah, of course. Of course. Team. Yeah. And thanks. Yeah. Obviously, you having. Stuff under control means you also have a good team yeah. on yeah. your side, ready to pick but things up. But I wouldn't up, be able to build and everything's a team like been that. amazing. But that's like I said, you know, I, you know, I, I, I trust you and your decisions Jelly and just your exists. team. Yeah, and I think that's why this works. And I think it's also there's me and Jelly have always been really good at um, sharing people in a sense. Like, does that make sense? <clears throat> what? Yeah, we Ooh, we have like an open share? open relationship. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> No, is, is that like, why I'm um, here today then? So we've got like quite <laughs> a natural. Again, so what did you say? That's why I'm here today. You guys want to like break me in? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we were expecting you to be pre broken. Oh, okay. No, like we've, we, we, we're quite good at like um, jellies. Jelly is quite natural at, you know, I, I can build out a team and then jelly is quite good at working with the team um, and it's kind of integrating and. It not being like, oh, that's a someone that works for me, and then he feels like he can't talk to them or something like that. So that we've got people that kind of almost sort of somewhat float between us yeah. to help with these projects, mm. which is which is good, which is yeah. really healthy. As I don't well. really know what you're complimenting him on. No, no, I'm just <laughs> talking about the nature Jelly's of the good. team. I think Jelly's just good at being here. <laughs> <laughs> He's really good at that. Well, at just being. I, yeah, yeah, you're just really good at being you. Oh, a being me. I yeah. thought of being here. I was like, but oh. like when it comes to the planning and stuff, you definitely need a Josh. But you complement each other in that no, way. But that's exactly why it works. Yeah. If if both of us needed to be in control, it yeah. wouldn't work. Yeah. I mean, it's a point we've already talked. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Great. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. just sort of um, 
kind of tying up now. I want to ask, do you, is there something that you can think about? And I'm, I'm kind of putting you uh, on your toes a little bit here. Ooh. Is there something you can think about that you, that nobody knows about you? Mm. And maybe that's the viewers. Maybe it's us. But is there something that you can give us an insight into the mind of Craner or, or the life of Craner or something that nobody else knows? <laughs> the life of Craner. Now, this is perfectly supposed to throw you off a little bit. Yeah. Well, and I you... feel like I've already been talking for like an hour about stuff people didn't know. That's good then. But but what's something to round it up? Else, mm. something a bit unique. Mm. It could be anything you want. Something unique about me. Something <laughs> unique about me. Saying you've got nothing unique about you does not count. Um, sometimes if my hand touches something, the other one has to do it too, and that can get really annoying. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I I mean I've got one that I I think is an interesting. You don't want to go. Uh, I I think that was the weirdest no. thing you've ever said. No, but like uh, yeah. I, I mean. I, we know this, but what is Craner's obsession with replacing cars? Oh, I'm just indecisive. So I mean, I just uh, and also the every lease is... three months you replace the car. No, the lease is a year. Yeah, and but you then... go back to the lease company after three months. You're like, can I get another one? Yeah, but then I get kind of tired. I just get tired of car not dogs. So you, so you cost fast. So this is an interesting. <laughs> it's the same with pets. He gets same with pets. No, it's same not the YouTubers. same. It's not the same, same with YouTube. Was it the same with drinks? Did you have to? No, okay, okay, oh. dude. <laughs> but what I find interesting though is after all of that, you kind of get tired of things. You move on from things, but you decided to. One of your big interests is is like tattoos. Like you've put this permanent ink on oh, yourself, right? Well, uh, it's not really. Oh, a, it's not really a big interest either. And but, none of oh, them really so you've only how many thing. tattoos do you have? A lot. Um, I mean, this entire side is covered. I should have worn a t-shirt. Yeah, I don't have yeah. anything. Under but for some, for someone that's completely that's, for someone up. that's quite indecisive, you've done quite a lot of permanent. Well, I've never regretted anything. Actually. Do you think your tattoos, uh, are have something to do with your insecurities? <laughs> no, I think it has something. Well, I, I do like them. What do you have in your knuckles? Don't talk about that. Go on, show I the, mean, show the, the camera. The most cringe one. It. No, okay, it says careless. But then I realized when you put them together, it says careless. And that, <laughs> that's when I, that's the one that I regret the most because I'm not careless at all. And it seems like such an out of character thing for me. But I didn't realize it said that. was quite careless of you that. to do. Uh, can I say this? What? I want to talk about one of your specific tattoos. Is it the one here? Uh, no. It's, it's on your arm. It's on my arm. So I think I know what this is. You used to record with a YouTuber called Sunday. Oh, this one. And he tattooed Sunday on his arm. Yeah, I still got him. I tried to remove it with laser, but it hurt too much, so I gave up. <laughs> so you have, can you show the camera? <laughs> yeah. So you've got a... So this is me. You can see it's almost faded. This is Bobby on a jetpack, my old dog. Is that the dog you gave up? And then <laughs> you, this is Sunday, and it's all sense. grown up. So you just attached a jetpack to Bobby. and we're like, Why did you see decide you to use color? I have no idea. Because that's more difficult to laser, right? This is very old, guys, okay? Um, well, it's going to stick with you forever, mate. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, really, Jelly? Oh, <laughs> thanks. So so what would it take for you to get a two-thirds tattoo? Oh, no, you know what you should get? A one-third <laughs> tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, that wouldn't take a lot of convincing. I remember. <laughs> I, I, I told him. I just do that. I don't really care anymore. I invited you to join the podcast. Yeah. One of the first things you said is, can I bring my tattoo artist? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could get a tattoo together. Yeah. 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 But, I mean, I don't think Josh, Josh would be like, down for that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, totally. I'm not against the idea of a tattoo, but I'm just very aware of the fact that it stays on your body forever. And I've not, I've not like, not found a tattoo i want to keep on my body forever but i just craner's I, minecraft characters yeah i just don't really care like i don't really see you them. care less yeah I, totally careless yeah <laughs> sorry craner. that's the one okay maybe that's the one i regret the most because i think it's so cringe and everybody always asks me and then i have to explain what it says that's in my that is so ironic that the tattoo you you regret the most is one that says care less and then yeah. he, he tried to laser them away but then he couldn't care <laughs> It hurts it so anymore. bad, dude. Okay, like I've been through a lot of pain with these tattoos, but lasering them off is like a hundred times worse. Really? It feels like on the finger, it feels like if you have frozen knuckles and somebody whacks you with like a stick. Oh, God. Yeah, but it only takes 10 seconds, but then you got to do it like 50 times. Are you still going to keep up with the uh, lasering? No, them, no. I, I, you've got I tattoos on your legs as well, right? Yeah, yeah. I've got a little jellyfish because I love jelly. No. You got a little alien. Which one's your newest tattoo? When's the last time you put a tattoo on your body? Oh, that's on my stomach, I think. Was it the lion? 
Uh, no, no, but that was like in the same week. Oh, because so I always get a bunch done when I'm. Did you? Because it's a, is this in it's a, like a focus? So is like this inappropriate to ask? Yeah, but yeah. when you were still going through your addiction period, mm -hmm. did you go ha and have tattoos? And don't remember about getting them. I was a bit drunk for some of them. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, but and I, how did they end up? Are they some of your favorites? Yeah, yeah, a lot of them. Yeah, I'm I'm heavy with all of them actually. Yeah, apart from the. The, the text and yeah the, the text i mean it's not a big deal i don't i don't think about it anymore really right, right but i know other people think about it you know like old ladies probably get scared sometimes get scared i don't know they can think you I'm know like, you, you'd be screwed going to like japan and yeah yeah going to one of their like uh yeah like like baths what and that's because called. japan's they don't like tattoos they don't like that tattoos yeah. yeah you need to cover them up i mean I've, which is fine if you have one or two tattoos but with your whole body being a yeah, I can't cover it up. It, I'll just be like a walking bag. Have you ever considered getting one on your head? Yeah, sure. Tears? Let's do it. No, I would never get no, one on my kidding, head, no. So. From the neck up, I've always been like, no. But neck down, it's party time. Free game. <laughs> <laughs> so what, like, so you've got tattoos as an interest. Do you do you have any other, like, personal interests? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I don't really... <laughs> Like, That's the thing, like... Uh, what do you do outside of your regular... Well, I've talked to my psychiatrist a lot about this, and I don't really care about a lot of things. You care less. I don't have any hobbies. I care less, yeah. You know what? That tattoo actually makes a lot of sense now. Maybe I should keep it. Really? Yeah, but no, I don't... Uh, I enjoy going for walks now. I try to keep things very... You do sound strong. old. Yeah, well, I mean, I have had to readjust a little right, bit to... Right. Uh, I don't go out anymore because obviously that's a bad idea. Right. And also it's not fun anymore. Mm-hmm. Really? So uh, what I do mostly now is read. You read books? Yeah, but then again, it's the Thrillers? most... Thrillers? No. Jenny, Jenny's learning, actually. It's the yeah, most... Learning how to read. Oh, you are? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, I can yeah. help you out a little bit. It's the most Craner kind of book you can imagine. What book? It's just manga. Okay. Like, you know... Oh, you Comic draw. books, basically. Yeah. Right. No, I don't draw it. Oh. No, I, I read a bunch of that, you know, like... Hunter, oh, you're like Hunter. reading anime. Yeah, yeah. Is yeah. anime it's not, also... No, it's not manga it's when it's... Man oh, okay. Yeah, Ma sorry. Manga. I'm a little bit out of touch when it comes to these things. But. Yeah, so I read a bunch of that. One Piece I'm done with. Well, they're still releasing, but I've read like 102 of those books. Wow. But aren't Hunter, they... Hunter. If, if aren't, They're not books, though. They're magazines. Then, well, right? no, you read... There's still a lot of tech... Okay, not a lot of text, but there is text in it. You're just looking at pictures. Yeah, so I'm not reading any like self help. So books you're saying you're reading anything. books, but realistically, he's like reading Donald. No, Duck. you still gotta read, dude. They're still reading. It's not Donald <laughs> Duck, dude. <laughs> I used to read a lot of Donald Duck. You're gonna get a lot of hate for hating on manga, dude. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm not hating on manga. Jelly, we don't need to call bring, it Donald you, Duck. You don't need to bring that hate to our podcast. No, you don't want to mess with the anime manga fans. I'm just totally out of touch with this. I didn't know manga was anime. All right. It's not. Never mind. I think we'll we'll end on yeah, that. Yeah. There, Jelly. Uh, so, Crane, okay. thank you for coming. Do you uh, do you feel like this was a good experience? Do you feel like? Uh, yeah. Are you, you still scared of Josh? Cash? No, no. He seems no. a lot more human than I. I, I want to end it with one thing. Yeah. I've been bullied my entire life for being short. Yes. Yeah. I want to show the viewer I'm not that short compared to you. Well, I actually wanted to do that too because my Google says I'm shorter than you. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, well, Google says I'm like well, four. Guys, yep. Craner, we're gonna Josh. I don't know. The actually, mics won't work. I don't think that you guys are gonna be fully in camera. No. Oh. Well, not. I'm really tall, so I don't think I'm gonna be in. <laughs> he'll he'll fit. Should we just put a picture on screen? You, you, How are we gonna do this? We can make the picture after. Just stand up. All right. All right. All right. Because right, right. we've got you know audio you listeners. Too, butt to butt, yeah. six, so. Um, okay, butt to butt. And uh, which camera is, is anything? Already... I mean, you are fully out of shot, but you can just tell that Jelly's shorter. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But the, the butt is shorter, I guess. Yeah, a bigger. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. It's confirmed. Craner is in fact. I am taller than Jelly. Taller than Jelly. That does not take a lot. By an Bring inch. Bring any first grade By here. half an inch. I don't think. Yeah. Well, we'll see if we can we can find someone Jelly that can be shorter than you. In the that would be episode. impressive. Anyway, Craner, thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Now go. And that's a wrap. We got to end it on two thirds. So. Yeah. So you kind of got to leave. Oh, okay. okay. That was like, okay. Have yeah. a good flight back. All right. Well, all right. Thanks. See you later. Bye. No, not later. No, not later. No. See ya. Okay. Bye. <laughs> we Keep need going. to oil that door. Yeah, we do. Yeah. The, you, oh, it opens fully. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. You can close it up behind oh. you.
still standing behind the door. Yeah, I'm happy it's gone. This is really awkward. Yeah. Awkward? Mm. He's just standing behind the door. <sighs> it's going to be difficult to get rid of them. Mm. Good job today. Thank you, Josh. You too. That's right. 